Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are going to get our very first taste of the 2020 line from Collect Day. And as you can see here, looking right in front of you is one of the single strangest looking sauropods of all time, I would imagine. And this one is the Bahatasaurus. It's such a newly discovered species of sauropod that Collect Day is the very first one to officially release a figure of this species, so kudos to them pumping this one out so quickly as this is a really quite recent discovery, so it's very cool that Collect Day has already produced a figure of this very cool looking sauropod. At first glance, I think it looks really, really nice. Definitely some very beautiful colors, very natural looking coloration that they've used overall on the figure. The sculpt also looks to be really quite well done overall so let's go ahead and get a closer look at it right now so starting up here at the head sculpt look how really really nicely done the head sculpt is of the sauropod not to mention the incredibly well placed eyes the eye is painted perfectly within the area that it should be it's placed perfectly you can also see some really nice detailing all over the head as far as the very fine details go of the head sculpt of the sauropod the mouth is open as you can obviously tell at this point and it has a really nicely sculpted tongue in there if we can get it to focus you can see a little bit in there the tongue is definitely really quite nicely sculpted you can see it a little bit there as well very realistic pinkish coloration for the tongue and again the eyes have a nice gloss to them they are painted with a blackish coloration and look very realistic very lifelike the coloration of the head is primarily the same brown that you see all over the body but it seems like it's got a few lighter tones here and there especially around the eye socket area so really nice coloration for the most part as far as the head sculpt goes you can see just how beautiful it looks on this side as well it's got a little extra plastic there on the lower jaw but we'll get that off later as far as the eye on this side it also looks really really nicely done quite beautifully placed and once again really nicely glossed with a nice blackish coloration very very realistic as far as the eye goes as we start to come back into the neck you can see lots of really nice detailing pick up as far as the skin texture goes lots of creasing in the skin as we lead down the neck the neck is kind of in a downward position so it appears as maybe the dinosaur is starting to lean down to pick up some vegetation or something like that so you're not going to see too much difference honestly when it comes to skin wrinkles or anything on this side as opposed to the other side there because the dinosaur isn't really going to be wrinkling the skin any more so on one side as opposed to the other due to the fact that the dinosaur is leaning down but you can really get a good sense of the skin kind of pulling and stretching as the dinosaur does lean its neck down toward the ground really nice curvature here on the underside of the neck along with some really nice detailing and you can also see a darker brown kind of pickup right there but that kind of disappears and transitions to a lighter coloration here once we reach the chest area. You've also got that very, very trademark style spines up here on the back of the neck and they look really cool as far as the sculpt and detail goes. On those, it's really nicely done as well. Lots of very fine detailing throughout and they are painted with a nice grayish coloration. They definitely have a slight gloss to them, just a little bit, kind of making them shine and really helping to take note of the very majestic looking appearance. Really, really cool looking for sure. They are all very flexible as well as you can move them pretty much all over the place. They bend quite easily and then fall right back into position like they should. As you lead down the neck, you can see that they start to get smaller and smaller until we get till about right here. And then it transitions to just very, very small ridges that run along the spinal column. The upper part of the neck is also this really nice dark brown, like a burnt umber brown almost or like a chocolate brown. And you can also see some osteoderms pick up here and there on the body. As we get down here into the shoulder blade, you can see the shoulder blade protruding from the skin right there. Really nicely defined musculature of the front leg here. You've also got the elbow sculpted out right there. As we lead down into the foot, foot looks great. Both feet actually, we can look at the other foot here. Also looks really nice. You've got the nails painted and sculpted out there. Really nice grayish coloration on the nails. A very natural look I think for the nails and they don't appear to be sloppily painted at all. Even the detailing on the underside of the feet is really quite nicely done. As we lead up into the stomach region, you can kind of get a sense of the skin bunching up both in the front and back legs there as they're pushing into the body, really wrinkling the skin. So there's lots of really nice skin folding going on. Very nice sculpt work right here in this general vicinity of the underside of the dinosaur, along with a really beautiful skin texture for sure. As we look at the overall sculpt of the figure, 
really has a beautiful appearance to it as far as the skin texture. I think Collect Day did a very, very good job overall on sculpting out the very fine detailing of this figure, pretty much as they always do. You can again see those osteoderms run and pretty much litter the entire body as we move down into the hip area of the dinosaur. You can once again see the hip kind of protruding a little bit from the skin there. You've got some more nicely defined musculature here in the thigh of the rear leg. And then as we move down the body, you've got the kneecap there. You don't really see too much going on as far as calf muscles or anything, but I think it looks really, really good regardless. You've got some more nicely painted nails on the rear foot. Also a beautiful foot sculpt overall. As far as the detailing goes, it's really nicely done, just like the front feet were. You've also got some nice skin texture on the underside of the feet, similar to what we saw on the front feet. It's kind of hard to see it here now that it got a little dark right there for a second due to the lighting and the dinosaur kind of shading off that area. But as we move back here, you can see this lighter coloration tapers off back to the brown a little bit here. As we run out the tail, it just becomes a little bit darker here with this brown kind of overtaking that lighter coloration. But if you look straight from the underside, you can see that that light coloration runs out the entire length of the tail, but it's just a lot less visible, I would say, as you run out the length of the tail. You've got some more nice skin folding and kind of stretching the skin right there as this leg is pulling forward, stretching the skin. And we take a look at the tail and the skin texture of the tail as we run out. You can see that as you move down the body, the skin texture looks a little bigger up here. But then as we get to the underside of the tail, it starts to turn a little bit more into like a fine type of a detailing, a little bit smaller, more calm type of a skin texture, I guess you could say. And the tail is really quite long. It does come out very far to a really nice tip here at the end, and it pretty much stays that same coloration throughout the entire body. It doesn't really alter. The dark brown here runs along the upper side of the animal and does run out the entire length of the tail, so you don't see too much difference as far as the coloration goes. On this side, again, the neck sculpt is going to look pretty much the same as we saw on the opposing side. These spines look great up here once again. Over here, they are really, really nicely sculpted. They look honestly fantastic. And the entire appearance of this figure is so beautiful. It's amazing that Collect Day went ahead and made this figure so quickly after its discovery. And not only did they make it quickly, but they also really quite nicely created a beautiful version of it. So it's going to be pretty hard for companies in the future to actually outdo this figure. As we lead down into the leg, once again, you can see some skin folding going on right here as this leg is pulling forward, pushing the skin up right there, and also really nicely stretching the skin right here. You can also take note of some variation of color throughout the body. You've got some lighter and darker browns. They also really nicely define the musculature there and the rear leg with a darker brown in certain areas like on the sides of the stomach and stuff. So they have done a good job as far as adding in some really nice looking skin tone, even though for the most part kind of looks like it's all just a couple of tones of color. They have beautifully defined certain areas with darker browns and everything, helping to make the entire thing have a pretty lifelike appearance as far as skin tone goes. You can once again see lots of osteoderms as we run back the length of the animal. Really nice thigh back here. You can again pick up on the hip bone right there. As we lead down into the rear leg, the foot sculpt back here looks great. The nails are also really quite nicely painted there as well. We've got some more skin stretching and stuff right there. You can see the detailing up here on the top as far as these ridges that run along the spinal column. It looks great. It really, really does. It looks beautiful the entire way out. The very, very long tail. And again, even up here, you could just see if you take a look at these spines up here on the top. It really looks beautiful. Every single spot that you look at this figure, it's honestly quite striking in person. Very impressive as far as Collect Day goes. And this is only the first figure of their 2020 line. And they're already blowing me away. You can also see there is a cloaca down here. It's also been given a somewhat dirty appearance to add a good dose of realism to the figure. The detailing on the underside of the figure also looks great. So this is just absolutely fantastic. As far as a size goes, again, this tail is pretty long. It really does go out quite far, which is what you would expect for a sauropod. But that makes it a little tough to actually get in frame to measure. So if we go from the end of the tail to the head, you are looking at about 13 and 3 quarter inches long. or about 35 centimeters for a length, somewhere in that range. And for a height, you're going to see it at about three and a half inches or nine centimeters roughly to the top 
of those spines on the neck. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus from Mattel, and Robert Muldoon from Mattel as well, helping to give you an idea of how this figure sizes up in comparison to those. It also is showing you that this isn't a very large figure, but at the same time it does have some really significant length to it, so you can take note of that. It's really quite long, but as far as the overall body mass, it's not too large. Really nicely sized, especially if you have a collection kind of overflowing with dinosaurs and you really want a very cool new sauropod in your collection, this is probably a perfect candidate for that. So this 2020 Collect Day Bahatosaurus is awesome. Really psyched to see a figure made of this species so soon. It really shows just how quick Collect Day is at popping out amazing new figures and considering how unique of a species this is, it's not a surprise that somebody was going to try to create a figure of it so quickly, but I am really happy that it was Collect Day. I think Collect Day sauropods are just continuously off the charts as far as the beauty of them goes, and that is absolutely no different when it comes to this Bajatosaurus. I think that the sculpt of this is really beautifully done, showing a very at ease version of this dinosaur, just kind of walking along, leaning down in what appears to be maybe reaching for some vegetation, or maybe leaning down for a drink or something like that. It could create some really cool diorama possibilities as far as the figure reaching down to take a drink. I really could see a lot of very cool dioramas created with that, but again, the sculpt looks so beautiful so majestic as the dinosaur just appears to be walking along like I said really calmly so it does have a very nice very at ease appearance to it the paint job maybe not the flashiest paint job in the world that's for sure but I personally don't like really flashy paint schemes on my sauropods I like darker tones or at least natural looking tones the type of colorations that I see on modern day large animals is kind of what I like to see on sauropods and that's definitely what I see here as far as the color tones that they've chosen with nice dark brown there on the back, nice dark grays for those spines up on the neck, and even the overall body coloration kind of being a little bit of a lighter brown still looks really natural, really nice on the figure. I definitely like the light underbelly as well. I think the usage of darker browns kind of highlighting different areas of the musculature and everything and kind of shading different areas of the figure was really well done also and definitely helps to give it a very nice appearance as far as skin tone goes and then of course you always have fantastic additions of realism like the dirty cloaca and the really nicely glossed eyes and everything i'm not positive when this is actually going to come into stock but it will definitely come into stock on everythingdinosaur.com along with the jenkins.com at some point in the very near future so make sure you keep checking back to those websites as soon as this comes into stock I highly recommend anybody interested in it to definitely pick it up. Once again, kudos to Collect Day for popping out an incredible figure here of this species so quickly and in general for starting off their 2020 line with a bang as far as this one goes. So make sure you pick this up when it does become available, but before you do that, don't forget to please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.